The shooting in Uvalde has many families across the country hugging their children tighter tonight. Some wonder if the shooting in Uvalde could have carried out or could have carried out his massacre in Idaho and Washington. Mania, the laws vary from Washington to Idaho. Well, Aaron, here's how Salvador Ramos got his guns. Based on what we know from Texas legislators, Ramos bought two assault rifles three days apart from a federal firearms licensee. In between, he bought 375 rounds of ammunition all just days after he turned 18. These were legal purchases in the state of Texas and required no background check or waiting period. Investigators say Ramos had no known criminal or mental health history. On the state level in Idaho, 18 year olds can carry concealed firearms without a permit as long as they meet the eligibility requirements of Idaho code. Idaho doesn't have state laws specifically regulating assault rifles. There's no restriction on how much ammunition can be purchased or transferred. There are more restrictions in Washington since Washington voted to Adopt initiative 1639, no one under 21 would be allowed to buy a semi-automatic assault rifle. No one can sell or transfer these weapons to anyone under 21 years of age in Washington. In fact, under this law, no one between the ages of 18 to 21 can even possess an auto, a semi-automatic unless it's in the person's home at a fixed place of business, among other restrictions. Anyone buying a gun in Washington would also have to go through a background check, safety training, and gun storage training. Well, as of right now, Washington doesn't have a limit on ammunition. That'll be changing. Governor Inslee signed off on legislation that bans the sale and distribution of firearm magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. This is set to kick in July 1st of this year.